Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to another episode of Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Tonight with another beer mail unboxing video. Seems like this is all I post these days. Don't worry, I've got some more videos coming up soon from the uh, from the beer fest up at Chad's. Just been taking a little break. Anyway, we've got a beer mail here. So this is sort of a beer mail. It's going to have a little bit of whiskey in it too. But this is from your Strange Bruisings, aka Teku Murray, Old Man Murray. We have lots of names for him over at the uh, uh, BDU every week, but uh, Teku Murray is the one we call him the most. I mean, uh, Yurt, sorry. Alright, anyway, he was nice enough to actually send me a big boxer, or medium-sized box of something. I'd have surprised, didn't ask for anything in return. Can't send promise I won't send anything back, but at the same time, it's nice to see this. This is... I don't know what's in it. So, he said that he sent me a couple of vials of whiskey, so it should be interesting to uh, to take a look and see what he sent. But uh, he said something like a couple of vials of whiskey and some undrinkable, you know, several month old beers. I'm not sure exactly what he meant by that, but I hear something sloshing around inside the box when I uh, tip it over. So, let's cut her open and see. Side two. Get the box open. Let's slice my finger open. Alrighty. So let's see what we got in here. What is this? Well, obviously, <clears throat> it's uh, not a whole thing of Balvini. I so down here. <laughs> it's a. Uh, Really light. There must be something inside it. So, pop. Oh, cool. A glass of some sort. Not a teku. That's close. That's a nice glass. Jeez. Nice kind of Z stem. Got my very own Z stem. I don't have one of these. Let me get a focus on that. Awesome. After all, we call him Teku Murray because he's all about the glassware. He's also all about the finer things, so... Awesome, thanks, man. I'll put that to good use. Uh, what else is in here? Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. <laughs> this is going to be a troll gift. I'm not even sure if it's actually in there, but if you ever watch BDU, you got to know that we put a lot of trust into the Brewmaster. <laughs> and uh, the funny part is is that as soon as Lee uh, L. Harlock, Lee Russell of uh, Hoogly Beer Reviews, um, <laughs> he's retired now, by the way. Ever since uh, he's brought one of these onto the BDU, we've been playing it. And I think the first time you ever did that, like, who, uh, you were, it's like, uh, um, that's it. I'm going on Amazon, I'm buying what's left. Because <laughs> this is a classic. I'm pretty sure it was a joke. But at the same time, jeez, yeah, and this is definitely the, uh, you, the, uh, Amazon one. Is it even open? <laughs> Let's see this. Oh my god. <laughs> it's actually here too. Alright, that's coming out in the next BDU. <laughs> awesome. Alright, what else is here? What is this? Ooh. Holy smokes! Are these the vials? This is bigger than I thought they were. Jeez. There's like six bottles in here. What have I got? Now here on Maxwell Bar Stars Beer Reviews, I've never reviewed anything other than beer and maybe a couple of bo pop bottles of uh, beers, or pop bottles, like bottles of pop. But, uh, you know, I actually really like whiskey and rum and, uh, and, uh, what's the other one? And, uh, this is Jameson Caskmates. I'm going to have to look that up. That's an Irish whiskey, I believe. Of course. Oh, cool. There's, uh, Lot 40 rye. Awesome. I have to look some of these up. This is Gooderham and Warts. Interesting. This is the uh, J.P. Weiser's Last Barrels. So this is the one, I think this is the one that he was showing off last week. Very limited release in Ontario. Yeah, 
<laughs> I think I've actually had a chance to try this. I think uh, the Sith had a bottle of Ardbeg, Ardbeg 10. I think I've had this, I think. I'm not sure if it was Ardbeg 10 or 12. But I remember it being really smoky and also quite good. So I look forward to trying that one too. And, last but not least, Oberlor 16? Jeez. Whew. That should be good. Ow. Usually when you get whiskey up to that age, they cost uh, some good, pretty penny, uh, pretty good money. So, chances are this is trying six different whiskeys that I wouldn't otherwise get the chance to try. So, I mean, I, I told every, told people that I've been looking into, uh, more and more into whiskeys lately, and one of my favorites thus far that I've been enjoying is this guy, uh, Talisker 10, which is really good. And then you were, it's like, yeah, I'm going to show you some real whiskey. <laughs> which, you know, Talisker, you can't go on with Talisker at the same time. I really appreciate this. So, what else is in the box? What's he got in you for aged beers? What is this stuff? Holy shit! Are these actually old? Firestone Walker Easy Jack IPA? Canned on... <laughs> they're not even that old. If I can get the fucking focus. I mean, they're old in Ewert's, Ewert's book. They're two months old. 5-5-16. Five, five, Shit, Easy Jack IPA from Firestone. Canon 5416, that's Firestone's. Come on. There we go. Firestone's Pale 31 California Pale Ale. Awesome. Completely undrinkable, though, at two months old. Shorts Brew, Huma Lupalicious India Pale Ale. Cool. Should be good. This is here. What the fuck is this? this sounds interesting. Um, Pigeon Hill OCP Oatmeal Cream Ma Cream Pie. Always pure without drugs or poisons. I would hope so. Serve cold and often. Where's that one from? Muskegon, Michigan. So I think you were in Ontario, but he's right here across the border from Michigan. Ooh, another fire soon. Oh, jeez, man. I'm going to have to get to these very soon. Luponic Distortion Revolving Hop Series from Firestone Walker. Revolution number 001. Canned on 426. Ah, oh, that's two months old. It's too old. And what's this one? Another Firestone. Holy fuck. Nice. Firestone Double Barrel Ale. Canned on 419. Well, it's barrel aged, so it's probably the, can stand to be three months old. Very cool. Holy smokes, that's awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> and I gotta say, kudos. Kudos for that troll gift. I actually was looking into buying one of these as a joke. Anyway, thanks, E. Uh, thanks for sending me the Z-Stem. I'm sure to get watch that out, maybe for BDU, and have one of these lovely little thingies. Holy fuck. Four Firestones. <laughs> I think, uh... Maybe only, I've only had one Firestone, I think it was... When I did for my uh, anniversary review or something. Anyway. I'm trying to remember if that was Parabola or... No, it was 15. Anyway. Um, yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you for sending me all these. I'm sure to get pretty uh, shit-faced on that, those whiskeys. I'm looking forward to trying them. I'm actually kind of thinking about taking a dram of the uh, <laughs> the Oberlore or something soon. But um, thank you very much for sending those. Um, I really appreciate and. If there's anything you want me to send you back, uh, absolutely no trouble at all. Anyway, 
Uh, thanks for watching Maxwell Stairs beer unboxing review of uh, a package from Strange Bruising, aka Teku Murray. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you folks later. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.